hey guys welcome okay so shall we continue on the last video i had was i was having a conversation with Kimiko. she was explaining things to what's us what's wrong you look oh i think about trailblaze is our mission right about the trailblaze where 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 were we understand the local culture and immerse ourselves within it establish a connection with the new world connect worlds together or or was it was it was it well this is your first time experience if you're really angry It's impossible. It's like a sudden storm that a mechanism whereby this it promulgated rapidly like cancer cells. So the international they are the army ruled by the eon of destruction, Nanook. As Nanook's followers, they stand against all life and civilization and execute the will of destruction, disseminating chaos and calamity. Their actions cannot be explained by reason, because their only motivation and purpose is to destroy. Fragmentums are a phenomenon of corrosion. The mainstream school of thought is that stellarons catalyzed the appearance of fragmentums. All matter and space that comes into contact with the fragmentum will be turned into fragmentum creations. However, you don't have to feel too burdened. At the very least, the current state of the Stellaron in your body is very stable and will not cause distortion to the outside. All right. But, um... Uh, Dan Hung is still not in here and we're just about ready to go. This one, I cannot use that yet. Anyway, hi, Pom Pom. <sighs> you took long enough. But at least everyone's here now. <laughs> no, it's Don Hong's subject. He won't here. be here, so just leave him be. <laughs> is that oh, yeah, so? <laughs> take these. What A is this? A tiny bonus from the conductor to the passenger. Think of it as an investment in your future growth. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, so he's like the Adventurer's Guild version. <laughs> uh, I don't mind. I don't mind, actually. I find Pom Pom cute. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he even has an animation. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I think I think it's up I'm up to level seven, I think. No. It's so cute. <laughs> oh so I'm up to level so I'm level nine. Okay everyone. Hurry up and find a place to sit down. Try not to be like March. Always running around the express like a headless chicken. <laughs> Pom Pom's going to start the final preparations for the jump. The voyage continues. Advance receive support and challenge strong enemies. Uh, turn on your phone and view friends menu. Friends. Add friends. View friends you already have. Okay. Wow. Some of these people are already level 50, level 40. These people are so quick. They even have wealth already. And he might go. I'm so jealous. <laughs> let's, let's, get, let's get going. Let's let's catch up. 
a world beyond daily check-in. Trailblazers can only receive daily rewards in the travel log after logging in the game each day. Oh, so this is every day. It's not a, it's not just uh something. So it's so it's a daily check-in. Oh, okay. Oh, this is so nice. But I think this but there is a time limit though. Wait. The reward can be unlocked in special order according to the previous accrued login days. Daily rewards will be refreshed at 4 a.m. server time every day. Wait, but there is a time limit here. So... What the... Uh, what does that mean? Once this... This limit goes off, there will be a new character who is going to replace her and a new uh check-in is that it i'm very curious about it is is that a permanent thing do i have enough no, I don't. But... Can we look at the store? I knew there were... Hmm. Should I get this? Ah. Uh, I already got the special pass, though. This one, I guess I should save this one for for these ones. Yeah, it would be better for me to save them to get the whoever the four star is or any of of uh, these. What you call this? Uh. Light cone? Wait, is the light cone... Is the light cone of the MC here? As well. So there is no permanent light cone for the MC. Anyways, let's... Let's go take a seat. I want to be seated here, though. Are you ready to move on to the next planet? What's the next stop at the express? The universe. The astral express. Eons. Hmm. Did I get dragged into a science fiction movie or something? The Stellaron thing in my body. Are you trying to catch the stars? <laughs> I've done stuff right. like that before. But it wasn't stars for me, though. It was lights. When I first woke up after being rescued from the ice, I could see clusters of stars in front of me. I reached out for them automatically, but they turned out to be the carriage ceiling lights. The whole crew was watching me. It was pretty embarrassing. Rested from ice. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Before all this, I was stuck in a huge block of ice drifting through space. Himeko and Mr. Yang and... Who was it again? Anyway, they figured out a way to melt the ice and saved me. So there was another one. Certainly for sure it's not Don Hing because she knows Don Hing very well. So there was another one. Probably part of the Astral Express or probably to whatever planet was near that helped March 7 uh, melt the ice. 
Do you remember what happened before you were frozen? I don't remember a thing. Who I am, where I'm from, my name. It's like everything was erased from my mind. March 7th was the day they found me, so it stuck. Ever since then, I've been hanging out on this train and following it to whatever destination it decides to stop at. I'm hoping that one day, I can find my past. Uh, what am I talking about this for? A way to get everyone down, huh? Sorry. It's fine. I was the one who brought it up. Uh... <laughs> Cheer up! It's not every day someone gets to ride on the Astral Express. Ah, here comes the conductor. The Express has reached a safe distance from the space station. We'll be jumping in about 10 minutes. Return to your seats, please. Both of you! Things could get bumpy. Uh, but we're geez, already seated, Tom -tom. though. But did you really have to come and remind me? I'm not a newbie, you know. Well, it wouldn't be necessary, but Miss March 7th likes to challenge herself. And falls over every <laughs> time. <laughs> That's just called never giving up. <laughs> <laughs> Conductor, can I get a juice, please? Thank you. <laughs> uh, we're jumping in five minutes. You can have something to drink when it's over. She really but likes to challenge. Now. She really likes to chat to uh, sub challenge when jumping. Jumps are like this. They may feel novel the first few times, but you'll slowly get used to them after a few more. As for the mechanism, well, if you're interested, I'll explain it to you in detail when we have more time. For now, just sit and wait. Remember to close your eyes. It helps with the dizziness. I'm envious. I want to see it in this sofa, too. Our next stop is a small planet called Eurilo 6. It's been Jerry thousands Lo? of years since the last time the Express paid a visit. The databank shows it was a lush and beautiful place. But after all this time, it's possible that dramatic changes have occurred. Oh, don't worry about me. I just want to see if I can stay on my feet this time. Uh... Don't it's hurt fine. yourself. I'm sturdier than I look. Besides, the ice will protect me. <laughs> when I'm in danger, I instinctively create ice to protect myself. Doesn't that make it more Though, painful? Sometimes falling on the ice actually hurts more than falling on the ground. Right, that. Well, don't mind me. Find a place to sit down and buckle up. And yeah, why don't they why don't they have like seat belts or anything on you? <laughs> A very comfortable sofa. Feels like you'll fall right asleep after sitting on it. Wait, can we go and actually talk to Don Hong? No. Is it on the other side? Oh, right. It's on the other side, isn't it? The door is shut tight. Maybe Don. Maybe Dan Hun locked in. <laughs> Don. <laughs> you meanie. Let's go. Hello, hello. <clears throat> All passengers, please return to your seats. The train is about to make the jump. Hold on, everyone. I won't fall over. I won't fall over. I won't fall over. Five. Four. Three. Yo. What? That's so cool. Wow. That's the one, right? That's the one on the After website. All those millennia. Is this what your Relo 6 has become? Uh-huh. So that snowy planet is our destination this time? Yes. <laughs> Looks like this trailblazing expedition won't be easy. Oh, spatial readout anomaly. 
Star Rail stability is down to 12%. Schedule alteration. Seven day stopover time extended indefinitely. Anomaly. Hmm. The complex locality of this world has been affected somehow. The star rail has been blocked off by something. Take an ordinary train as an example. It's like the tracks up ahead have suddenly snapped, and the way forward leads straight into a collapsing abyss. The only sensible thing to do would be to break hard, right? If we try to force our way ahead, there could be a hefty price to pay. This again? Don't tell me. It's gotta be. The results of the preliminary analysis are here. The anomaly stems from a stellar run, as always. Oh. The one that we have? Yes. Just like the one that's been placed into your body. Well, it was already explained like it's a cancer. It's a cancer thing, but. That's... Stellarons are clouded in mystery. Even Herda isn't able to fully understand them. But there's no need to worry. This isn't the first time our route has been obstructed by a Stellaron. Even if we don't know much about them, at least we know how to neutralize their influences. The only thing we can say for sure is that their arrival causes massive changes to civilizations and ecosystems. They also generate distortions in space, such as fragmentums. There must be an inextricable connection between the Stellaron we're dealing with here and Urelo 6 becoming a frozen planet. Our current theory is that Stellarons are seeds of disaster, planted by a certain eon throughout the universe. We can't continue to trailblaze without removing the source of the disaster. Why can't the people in the world's affected save themselves? It's empowering, looking out at a world from a window like this. But when you set foot on the planet itself, you realize how small and helpless you really are. Just like them. I'd like to entrust this trailblazing expedition to March, Dan Hung, and you. Oh, the so objective is clear. Find the Stellaron responsible for the disaster and the spatial distortions, and bring it back to the Express. We'll deal with the rest. Awesome! We get to work as a team again! How are we not being affected? You're not coming? Someone, Someone needs to, to guard the train express. And All right. Get lonely. <laughs> I not knew to it. mention, Nanook threw us a glance just now. If we're targeted by the Antimatter Legion, then things could go south fast. Oh, that's right. So it's still not our turn. I know you really <clears throat> want to go, but we should give the youngsters a chance to get out there on their own. It'll be a good opportunity for them to bond. March, if you two are ready. Why not go and find Dan Hung? He's probably already started collating the ecological data and survey results for Urelo 6. It's always good to know more about the destination before you start a journey. It's so funny though. Dan Hung is said to be the guard of the Express, but... It seems that he's the one who's always going out of the Express. Are you doing okay after your first jump? Dizziness or retching are normal reactions. You'll feel better once you get used to it. Why aren't you with everyone else? I enjoy being alone. Especially when I have important work to do. He's I went through the Express's <laughs> database, and it seems the environment on Urelo 6 has undergone drastic changes in the past few centuries. It was not a frozen planet to begin with. But is it... But is it so important that you actually have to lock the door? <laughs> but says it was caused by a Stellaron. So. 
Hmm. Considering the spatial obstacles that the Star Rail has encountered, it's highly possible. I've conducted a preliminary mm -hmm. survey and found that there's one area with a relatively normal temperature on the surface of the planet. By normal, I mean a temperature that just about allows for human survival. Oh, so... So the entirety of the planet is frozen solid? If I had to choose a site for initial investigation on this trailblazing expedition, that would be it. Himika wants you, me, and March 7th to go together. As I expected. Before <laughs> you came, whenever March wanted to go anywhere, Himika would make Mr. Yang and me go with her. Oh, is that so? Funny enough how Himiko is not letting Mr. Yang go with us this time. And even after you arrived, I didn't suppose I'd be the one to be... liberated of that duty. I assume the trailblazing objective this yeah. time is to find the Stellaron on Eurilo 6 and dispel the effect it's exerting on the Star Rail. Right? Yes. I see. You should find March. I'll join you two once I'm ready. Did you talk to Don Hung? How'd it go? He doesn't seem very enthusiastic. <sighs> That's our Don Hung. <laughs> Always trying to look cool with his poker face. Don't mind him. Relax. Don Hung and I are experienced trailblazers. We got your back. <laughs> Well, are you ready? You bet. It's when not I like... first saw this planet, I thought a world covered in ice. Could it have something to do with my past? Now I can't stop thinking about it. Still, the ice that trapped me was six-phased ice. A very rare substance. I don't think you can find it on your average planet. So there are types of ice? We won't know unless we have a look ourselves. To be honest, I think I'd be kind of annoyed if I found out this was my home world. It looks freezing. Pretty girls aren't frost resistant. What? Is there something on my face? Just imagining all the fun we're gonna have here. <laughs> we're not supposed to have fun here, uh, actually. I feel sorry for this world. First the Stellaron, and now you. <laughs> Let's go. All right, here comes the Eurilo 6 Trailblaze team. How are we supposed to get there, by the way? How did they descend? Eurilo 6. We're here. Uh, it really is one big snowball. <laughs> it doesn't feel that cold. Well, the trailblaze path grants us faint power. It allows us to better adapt to harsh environments. Snow as far as the eye can see. Which direction should we take? Based on the coordinates, the target should be up ahead. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go! Why didn't we land at the destination? I didn't know we'd be hiking. Me neither. If only we had a snowmobile! We never get to bring anything cool from the express. Was there such a thing? Do you express? remember what you did to our last snowmobile? Oh. <laughs> why, why does this guy, why is this guy smiling as if he knows? <laughs> anyway, moving on. Remember, we should stay vigilant. We know very little about this world. Calm down. Between the three of us, nothing will stand in our way. I mean, come on. 
You've got a Stellaron in your body. I have my special six-phase dice powers. And Don Hung, uh, he's got that mysterious past thing going for him. So if people hmm. start creating trouble for us, they're gonna regret it. Um, let's just make sure that we're not the ones creating trouble. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> Let's go! Braving the unknown? That's the real spirit of trailblazing! Hmm, okay, but first, I thought I saw a. Uh... This in the navigation system of the Astral Express, you can travel between different worlds and areas. The world that you have been to will be marked on, this, on the Star Rail map. Okay. <clears throat> this place still hasn't been corroded. Yet fragmentum monsters have already made it here. <laughs> March Too late to repent. March doesn't know how to aim. <laughs> <laughs> My turn! <laughs> You couldn't have done it without me. What's this? Alex teleportation? What a strange object. It seems really out of place in the snow plains. Maybe Mr. Yang will know what this is. Let's send a message to ask him. Everyone on the express was constantly keep in touch. Click anywhere to close. What is this, Mr. Yang? <clears throat> it is a calyx, a strange entity born from the phenomenon of space distortion. There are some reality data in the calyxes that might come in handy, but please be careful when coming in contact with them. The existence of this calyx is still a mystery to us, and the danger within it is incalculable. In your coming journey, you might come across other calyxes like this, and the reality data stored in different calyxes may vary, so look out for that. Okay, defeat enemies to obtain general material. I click anywhere. Okay. <clears throat> oh. This game mode costs Trailblazer power to play. Trailblaze power recovers over time. Oh. Okay. Um. Can I? Recommend type. Do I have a fire? Yeah, I do have a fire, but. <clears throat> What's the support? Some game modes allow support characters to assist in combat. Oh! Use friends or system recommended support characters. Okay, let's have. Let me go instead. No, this one. All right. That should be fine. Let's go. Fighting is meaningless. Told you I could fight. You won't get away. This is our chance. Okay. Mm. Mm hmm. Oh, so I can actually. Oh, 
Oh, so that's what I see. I see the support that's written there. All right, I see. Rules are made to be broken. You won't get away. I have no interest in conflict. Gotta try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move! You won't get away. The truth of life and death revealed in an instant. Oh no. Can I... Can I escape? Can I turn it off? No. <laughs> Uh, but a vision. Break! It's so sad. I can't, I can't cancel an old fighting is meaningless. You won't get away. Let's go. You won't get away. You won't get away. Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. I have no interest in conflict. You won't get away. My turn! You won't get away. All right. Unlock at Equilibrium Level 1. What? Huh? Fighting is meaningless. Tough luck running into me! Let's make it quick. Just a scratch. No injury. Why does Reach that? the end of the story in your own way. Should I just use all... all of it? Wait. What is this? Is this a person? I never noticed that. These buildings have been buried in the snowfall. Huh? So these are rooftops? How long would snow have to fall to get this thick? A long, long time. There doesn't seem to be anything here. Yeah. I want to try Jepard. It's so interesting because Fighting is meaningless. Uh, uh, I'm I'm gunning for him actually. Told you I could fight. <laughs> this is our chance. This ends here. Let's go. I have no interest in. Told you I could fight. Let's make it. Energy, what? Gotta try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move. 
Too late to repent. Told you I could fight. Hope you're prepared. Rules are made to be broken. Told you I could fight. In the name of Landau. Oh. A will forged in ice the... never falters. So he's entirely is support. Oh, and and like and like March, whose skill can only can only give a single ally. His can give Don't shield hesitate. entirely. Told you I could fight. This is our chance. This ends here. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. The sanctuary is but a vision! Break! Told you I could fight! Let's go. No interest in conflict. Gotta try hard sometime. Watch this awesome move! Too late to repent. Told you I could fight! Hope you're prepared. You can't run. Told you I could fight. Let's make it quick. Fighting is meaningless. Rules are made to be broken. Too late to repent. This ends here. I have no interest in, in the name of Landau. A will forged in ice never falters. Fighting is meaningless. Told you I could fight. Let's go. Gotta try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move. Too late to repent. Told you I could fight. Hope you're prepared. Try that again. You can't run. Oh, no even if the conflict. shield came from someone else, March still has that uh counter attacking when someone shielded is attacked that's very nice to know told you i, I could fight i think that's passive so Let's that make means it quick. it's her passive fighting is meaningless sunstorm okay that's enough we don't have any more uh, oh, it's still a different one. Uh, where do I get that again? It's this one, I think. Support character. Let's put her as the support character because she's the one who has uh, a light cone. A designated light cone. Departure, thank you, gift. Ariel special. Times 10. Thank you very much. Let's immediately. Oh.
let's let's uh immediately go and summon clear calyx one times oh okay i just need one more to get this reward purchase one item in the world shop with Cretarium. Okay, maybe, maybe later. Warp? Oh, so it's called Warp. In Genshin, it's called Wish. In, uh... I'm not sure what it's called in Honkai Impact. But here in Starblaze... Star Rail, Starblaze... Star Rail is called Warp. Okay, so let's go summon. We have 10. We actually have 18. We have at least one for 10 pool. Is it, is it this one? Is that the indication? I want to know the indication whether I'll get a 5 star though. It certainly is not on the door. Is it, is it that sort of orb on Pom Pom's hat? Oh. Oh, just a minute. Uh, it's the healer, right? This is the healer. Oh, okay. This is one character in the party that will probably never leave and never leave the team. A healer. Oh, all right. Okay. Hello. How many do I have now? One, two, three, four, five. There's still five. Oh, wait. I only have done 10. Oh, uh. Really? Or is this... Does not include... This second one. So I. Oh yeah, sure. It 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 hasn't included this time yet. So twenty. But here. I've done. Thirty-one. Yeah, these are the standard characters. So these are the ones who are, who are going to compete for the fifty-fifty in the in the in the character bat in the feature character warps. I don't mind, in all honestly. I don't mind getting any of them. I'm fine with losing 50-50 to any of these guys. <laughs> Anyways, let's see... Uh, 
Then start the battle immediately with generate six energy for all allies. When you're they're outgoing healing. When the wearer uses their skill or ultimate, their outgoing healing increases by 12%. Outgoing healing, what does that mean? This is probably the one for for the healer specifically. Yeah, let's activate this one already. As for... Oh. To 15 maybe? No, let's get the healer first to... <laughs> I'm getting confused with the plus and then the... <laughs> Okay, uh, then the healer, of course. The fourth character. Support reward. Oh. Breath won't help. Yeah, I mean, we've already noticed. I you. got this, March. Uh, someone's got their head stuck in the sand, or the snow in this case. They just need a helping hand. Ouch! <laughs> My fine fellow, was that really necessary? Is crawling around in the snow a crime these days? I mean, come on, surely it doesn't warrant a spearing. <laughs> Why were you even hiding in the snow? Weren't you afraid to freeze to death? <laughs> But then again, how can I blame you? I mean, I caught you off guard. It, it had to happen. <laughs> you could even say I deserved it, huh? Besides, I made a gallant group of new friends as a result. <laughs> You're not funny, mister. Uh, is Captain Jepard around? Uh, he, he's an old buddy of mine. We don't know him either. So, tough luck. Who? 
Wait, you're not Silvermane guards? Well, why didn't you say so? Turns out we're on the same side after all. Oh, so he thought that we were part of a, a, a guard, which Jepard is seemingly part of because he does wear to be like a guard. Pleasure to meet you. The name's Sampo Koski. What? Sampo Koski? <laughs> Excellent. I'll remember the name. Never thought I'd run into friends from the same line of work out here in this frozen wasteland. We don't even <sighs> know what Business your work is, is. These days, but fear not. Sampo Koski isn't interested in hoarding. There's more than enough treasure to go around, so let's get rich together. <laughs> Are you a treasure hunter? From the sounds of it, you're sounding like a treasure hunter. Say, why don't we join forces? I have reliable intel the main strength of the Silvermane Guards is being deployed to the front line. This is a golden opportunity! What business are you talking about? Come now, friends. I can understand the mistrust, but there's no need for the charade. Charade. <laughs> charade. No, we don't really know. Then again, I know the rules. Vigilance is the name of the game in our profession. <laughs> It's my fault for letting my enthusiasm and sincerity get the better of me. We we don't really know what you're talking anyway, about. Anyway, <laughs> a meeting like this has to have been written in the stars. Ask me anything you like. I won't skimp on the details. Still make it snappy. You're never more than ten feet from a silver main guard. Is there a settlement nearby? Why were you hiding in the snow? Me? You guys scared me to death. There I was, looking for relics to sell, when all of a sudden you came stomping over. I thought the Silvermane guards were paying me a visit. But to hide in the snow? Seriously, though? Try treading a little lighter next time, huh? If you run into the guards, they won't hide in the snowdrift, and you'll be in a cell before you know it. <laughs> oh, so, so what? Everyone who walking around the snow are immediately apprehended? Is that it? Settlement? What a literary turn of phrase. Why, there's only one place in this world where the living still reside. Our beloved Bellabog. The further away you get, the dicier things become. The city of preservation. The towering citadel. Humanity's last bastion against the eternal freeze. It may sound a bit over the top, but those names are grounded in truth. The only place humans can eke out an existence is behind those impregnable walls. I have no idea who the Silvermane guards even are. You really don't know? The Silvermane guards are Bellabog's soldiers, enforcers, and police. Let's just say they're not the most flexible of people. And they like paying visits to folks in our line of work. What is this line of work you're talking about? Treasure hunting? <laughs> Seems like you guys really are new to the business. <laughs> To be young and naive again. How about this? As a senior in the field, which I'm sure you don't mind me saying, I'll give you some free guidance. We're not even the same line of work. There are ways of doing things in this profession, and you better get familiar with them. Moving in the shadows, finding the goods, pricing your stock, hiding from the guards. There's an art to all of it. No need. Why don't you just take us to the city? We don't really know the way. The city? Already? They haven't even started trading yet. Well, showing you the way is easy enough, Missy, but it would cost. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it would be my pleasure. <laughs> Kindness is Sampo Koski's middle name. Follow me, friends, and uh, keep quiet. We don't want to be spotted by the guards. <laughs> Donung is really so intimidating. He's like, I think this, from the looks of it, this guy seems to be much more older than Donung. But, uh, yeah, we don't, we don't know. <laughs> As we've learned in Genshin, looks can be deceiving. No. So why were you hiding from the Silvermane guards? Yeah, we're just storing a few relics away from prying eyes. Nothing serious. If it weren't for the uncompromising nature of our civil service, 
<laughs> there'd be no need for secrecy. So where about you guys from, anyway? I don't mean to pry or anything, I just care about my friends. No pressure. Oh yeah, by the way, I just forgot. Uh, actually, I can play this with my controller. Yeah, see? But just like in Honkai Impact, I just I just need to move the joystick or press a button in the controller and it'll immediately change. You see? No need to go to the settings in order to choose controller or choose keyboard for your gameplay. So it's all good. It's very good. I like this one though. I prefer this one actually. I wish Genshin had this kind of control control interface. Wait, where's the space anchor? Oh, and we were so far far away from it. I didn't even notice it. Rule number seven, never leave a footprint. I have my own special technique called invisible snow walking. Helps me throw off pursuers in no, no time. Uh-oh. Ace for continue. Who are they? Uh, the ones he's avoiding, I guess. Uh, you remember the Silvermane guards I mentioned? That's them! Help me, old friends! I don't want to be caught! It's the suspect and his accomplices! Arrest them! Wow, they really are new. They really it's are now just going to start. Over to you, dear friends! <laughs> hey, where do you think you're... My turn! Uh, select target and... Activate ultimate. Oh, but... Wait, which... What's wrong? Afraid of what I might do? LT is the activation of the ultimate, but... Both of them are LT. So... It's... In the formo... In the foremost left? Oh, I see. So that's how it is. <laughs> hey, <it's true. laughs> The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. The sanctuary is but a vision! <laughs> Rules are made to be broken! <laughs> I'm getting... Uh, I'm trying to get used to it again. Sometimes. Watch this awesome move. No interest in conflict. Let's go. All right. Yo. Oh no, it's Japard. I, Japard Landau, captain of the Silver Main Guards, order you to relinquish your futile resistance. Ugh, that Sampo oh, cheated Jeffrey. us all. 
Wait till I get my hands on him. Suspect, relinquish your resistance. So I'm a criminal, huh? Forget Sampo. Wait until I get my hands on you. Nap time. Take courage. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. The truth of life and death. I think it's so much more better to just use the keyboard. Wait, just a minute. It's much more quicker. This sanctuary is but a vision. My turn. With me out here, how can we lose? Let's go. This naughty children don't listen. You're in bad shape. <laughs> try that again. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. <laughs> It's too late to repent. You have the work. This ends here. Yo, and the prime the suspect, the one with the blue hair. Apologies, Captain. We lost him during the pursuit. We can't find his footprints. <sighs> no matter. We have his accomplices. He'll be close by, plotting his next move. Not exactly. You might be waiting longer than you think. As in forever. I'm not trying to talk our way out of this, but we're not friends with that scoundrel. Did you see how fast he ditched us? We rescued him from the snow out of the kindness of our hearts. We had no idea he might be using us to get past you. Are you really dumb enough to fall for his... I'm a captain, not an adjudication panel. As a Bellabog citizen, you have the right to defend yourself. <laughs> We're but not that can only take place under the scrutiny of the architects. Not now. Take them away. Does our equipment bear any resemblance to yours? Silence! What kind of nonsense are you? As you were, we must not be tempted into careless judgment. Look at their relics. We've never excavated anything like them before. And I haven't seen anything similar in our museums. Exactly! You've probably never seen what your planet looks like, right? I took this one. Behold, Yarilo 6. Mars 7 shows your part of a picture of the ice covered planet. You mean to planet. say that this white ball that's here, <laughs> that's our home? How can that... Hmm. It is said that a long time ago, strange visitors from beyond the sky would visit us here. But that after the eternal freeze, the blizzards made passage impossible. And Bellabog would cease to witness such arrivals. But these people are... This decision is beyond us. If what they say is true, then only the Supreme Guardian may decide their fate. Our job is to present them before her. Nothing more. Outsiders, follow me. Bellabog lies beyond this blizzard. Welcome to Bellabog, the city of preservation. 
that's like uh marches marches path isn't it i'm so confused whether it's uh eon or path <laughs> Wow, is that is that floating or Hey, it feels like it got a bit warmer. That's because you're in Bellabog, the last bastion of humanity. Last bastion? <laughs> 700 years ago, monsters from beyond the sky set the world ablaze. The land was turned to scorched earth, with raging infernos and billowing towers of smoke stretching beyond the horizon. And then suddenly it just got cold? In the midst of the conflict, the eternal freeze descended without warning. Suddenly sweeping winds brought blizzards which buried the invading legion. Bellabog was all that remained. The steadfast architects built this city. Under the protection of Klepoth, the preservation, Bellabog remains forever warm in the face of unrelenting cold. I don't think I'll ever remember their names, only the... this one, the type of Aeon they are. He sure saying some weird stuff. A marked change in tone. Sounds like he's quoting from a historical record. Uh-huh. So why is he telling us all this? You wanted to know. Uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was very near. He was bound to hear, you know. Okay, so uh, that's it. I know it wasn't that long, but the recording is already very long. So yeah, I guess this is this is where I'll make it our stop off. I'll see you guys in the next video.